Okay, I came from nothing, give me my respect I'm all about a bag, got me thumbing through a check Got me money like a sub This head right the line right here, y'all, right the line I'm gonna set this here, let this sit for a little while Got my pot on low heat for these collard greens I'm about to cook. Got my bacon head chopped up. Rough chop, nothing too bad. I got my pan in behind me getting hot. When that's done getting hot, I'm gonna toss my diced bacon in, followed by my chopped shallots and my garlic. You want a fine, kind of a fine chop on your garlic because it's so strong. You don't want the garlic to overpower anything in your dish. You kind of want it to mellow out and kind of to blend with the flavors. All right, that's cool for now. Add my bacon. So I'm also take my iron, cut the ends off, cut it down the middle. You want it to be as small as dice as you can. You almost want it minced, minced dice, which means dice real extra small. Check on my bacon, stir it up just a little bit, just mix it up. Make sure it's cooking on both sides. Now, you, this is what you want to do. You don't want it on high heat. You want it on low heat. You put it on high heat, you'll overcook it, and it won't taste right. Just want to make sure everything is, all the pieces are getting cooked on both sides all the way through. Then you want to add your onions, then your garlic. You want to let that sit, let that simmer for, I say, three to four minutes. And I also have some smoked ham here that I'm also going to add into it. Give it that good, rich flavor. Good old southern collard greens. Collard greens here, fresh. Been picked, been washed, been cleaned. Everything's coming together. The smell is there, it's coming together. Mm mm. Couple more minutes to be ready to add in the apple cider vinegar. Mm. Smells amazing. I'm gonna add three to four tablespoons. Collard greens need to be cut. And when you're cutting the collard greens, try to cut them in small pieces, not large pieces. They cook down better in small pieces. You don't have to be all neat, it can be coarse or chopped. Then come together. This process takes about an hour and 20 minutes. So we're gonna leave this alone for a little while. Let it cook. We're gonna come back to it. We're gonna go to something else. That something else is gonna be some rack of lamb. Come on, let's go. Throw well, something. Ooh. 
all like corn. Um, it's gonna be a buttery roasted corn. We got the lamb working, we got the corn working, and we got the best part, we got the collard greens working. So while all that's working, we're gonna take a break. I'm damn near done for real. Just gotta wait till I hit these collard greens to cook in the lamb. Anything on the cook? Reflection lights reflecting life all off the rim tires. Greatest baller from my state, homie. I'm limp bias. The end. Let me introduce myself. My name is Chef Latif Maxwell, executive chef of Focus Music ENC, and executive chef of Maxwell's Catering. And this is what I prepared for you guys today. It's rack of lamb, pan seared rack of lamb, southern collard greens, buttered roasted corn. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in today. And I'll see you on the next one. Me a paradise, I swear I'm living life absolutely. Remember when I used to write my rhymes on the loose leash? Man, I ain't signed. Tell me who. Hey, how you doing today, guys? It's Chad Arrington here. And I'm super, super excited to be able to share my life story with you.